Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode <laughs> of Crit <laughs> and Survive brought to you by Game Emporium. They weren't expecting me to do that so I just went into it. With some friends have gathered around the table to play some Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a lad's evening. Lads, lads, lads. 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 Big sausage. Oh, it's, it's, all that's happening. We are the laddiest of lads who are playing d <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Laura's on a Hindu so, you know, we've got to let her out sometimes. Maybe. Occasionally. <laughs> she's still technically a free woman. Not as good as dog owners in dungeons. Or no, it's not. No. She's already heard her head do. Yeah. Yeah. This is the second fake one. Better than they have a cake. Mm. <laughs> or sashes. They probably have sashes. Yeah, nah, but they don't have sashes. Don't have Rocky Rose. No Rocky Rose. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So we are back once again to play some D&D. It's mm. been a little while mm. for us in person because shit keeps happening. Mm. So. Nice. Life does keep happening. So, yeah, so we've got that going on. Um, but there is plenty of content here on the Game Emporium for you to enjoy. Ross and I have been doing a bunch of top 10 or top 5 lists and yes. talking about board games and all that sort of stuff, which is mm. kind of fun. Mm. Um, we're enjoying ourselves with that one. So, if you want to check that out, like, follow, do all the stuff mm -hmm. you do. And uh, don't forget to ring that bell. Getting out of the way early. I, um, <laughs> at the end of one of the videos, I yeah, did a little DD throwback <laughs> and mentioned the bell. How do you get it in there? Somehow, yes. Um, and as always, we are here supported by Game Team, the wonderful people who make game gear and goods. They do some stuff like Ross's little dice container, Connor's nice sparkly dice there, Don's sparkly dice, and holding up like Simba. <laughs> or poor phone signal, not oh, sure yet. It's not entirely doesn't. Yeah, it's close enough to the camera, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, all yeah, sorts I of fun stuff. the camera. Let's try. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Shiny. So yeah, we've got all that fun stuff. So you can go to gamet.co.uk forward slash eat grit survive and get yourself a 5% discount at checkout. A little bit of that comes to us to get some commissions and we can buy some more stuff. We can buy more stuff from them. Like their candles and their artwork. It's all good I stuff. Think all of us have artwork from the last time. I think it's just you and I. These aren't from these aren't these from ones. No, these aren't from Gamos. Nah, these are um Oh, Meeple Design. The ones on the back side of this wall, they are the, uh, the pinups. Pin yeah. You, you have those as well, so. I do. <laughs> good. Anyway, that's enough small talk for mm. today. Let's get into the chaos as we return. Um, let's see what Laura had in her notebook. Tom, do you want to go through your notes whilst uh, I see sure. what Laura's nonsense was for Katian? This won't take long. Um, section 40 slash entry 11. Uh, it was a bit of a miserable night after the fight, nursing our wounds and freezing temperatures. In the morning, Cassian and Pod headed for the tavern while Isaria and I went to see Winsome. He wasn't awake yet. Isaria went to the tavern too while I waited for Winsome at the temple. Just had things to think about. When Winsome woke up, I told him what had happened. We did a bit of theorising about the moth creature. I think they're going to try and scare the thing off. I wish them all the luck in the world with that. After a nice cup of tea, I went to the tavern as well. I also planted Mitch. He appreciated it. Nisaria brought back all the new winter clothes. Tanner did a really good job. We spent the rest of the day making sure we have everything necessary for the journey. Then went to the evening meeting. Here you go. Here's, here's Cassian's uh, insightful information. Mm. 40. We head to the tavern. We do some day jobs. It's our day off. We fix a hut. We have some fish. End communication. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Con, did you write anything down? Did you... I didn't have my book. Oh, there you go. Yeah. My last one was 36. <clears throat> little little yeah. lines. Five, five episodes five good. Episodes so, the group of adventurers that we have amongst us have found themselves getting ready to leave Fossfinger, but decided they'd stick around for one more day to discuss a few bits and pieces, including the creature that they had defeated, uh, or scared off at least the night before. They went around... No, no, no we defeated it. The DM said it is canon now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Still alive. No, um, it, it went to the forest violent. and died of severe bloodlust. Mm -hmm. uh, but you went around doing some dogs and picked up some supplies that were needed for the journey ahead. You had conversations, you had 
the evening meeting that prepared you for and going up. He sent peasants to go and fight it and then lectured them. Yeah, it went well. Cassian yeah, tried to have a conversation like, about that. Didn't you crossbow, bro? Nearly starts to bar for all. So, uh, yeah, that happens. And Cassian and uh, his lady friend departed for the evening at some point. Mm. Um, but the night has come to an end. You're all back to full health and ready to go the next morning. Um, sun is starting to rise over in the east and you know, starting to get yourselves ready to go. As <laughs> we need to go away from the sun. Need to go away from the sun. Um, but you are starting to get your gear together and get your supplies together. There is a fresh layer of snow that has settled um, in the streets. Which again, impressive given that you're you know, coast on a coastal stack. Um, but it's a nice, nice soft crunch as you walk through the town. Is there anything you'd like to do in town before you depart? Briefly check and see if the moth killed the path of the farm. Oh yeah. Um, as you were wandering past the towards the gate of the bridge to head out, uh, Cassian is not with you at present, um, but you notice there is no signs of death. There is also not a new uh, crop circle, effectively a new drainage circle has not appeared. Things that they had the reprieve this past we night. We frightened him. Time to leave this place. <laughs> So the moth can come back. Go to flex. Cassian. Do you know where he's gone? No. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> maybe. I think we could probably make an educated guess. Pass pounding dough somewhere. Right? <laughs> yeah. Where are you heading to? Um, um, to the bakery. Yeah, let's say, yeah. Okay. You head to the bakery. It is dark and shut. Is it like an like li upstairs living There's an upstairs living quarters. Uh, that is also dark. Oh, okay. They're still sleeping for a Maybe they've gone to the uh, supply hut. Maybe. I trust the supply hut. Okay, you head out, you head to the supply hut. As you're heading out there, you just hear a... Oh, God! <laughs> doors opening and then slamming, and you just watch as uh, your baker friend runs past you, Sean. <laughs> like, yeah, I know it's Sean. Cassian and Sean. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, Freud, I know, you got message Laura. <laughs> Shannon comes yeah. rushing out, still wearing last night's clothes and sort of hastily readjusting themselves around it. Hi, I'm late, so excuse me. Wait. Uh, where is Cassian? Ah, uh, you know, I um, I don't go. Uh, and she just wait, no, wait, seriously, wait, 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 wait. Yes, <clears throat> I hand over a small stone. It's actually just a loaf of it's a loaf of bread. It's a stone loaf of bread. Uh -huh. That's all I do. Just hand it over because she's rushing. You, okay. you figure it out. All right. Goodbye. Oh, oh. I'm to for that. <laughs> what? I think I know what you've done. <laughs> I feel like I know what you've done. So if, I'm, if I'm if I'm <laughs> not sending loaf now. Okay. It's not, oh right, <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> what I'm it it sending loaf. I have considered that, but not at the moment yet. Don't you can do that yet? Um I think I can, but I have I obviously I lose another slot. Them, so, yeah. so I've never seen or heard someone struggle so much to open a pack of Harry in my life. Whilst <laughs> <laughs> trying to do it quietly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, but she, run, she runs off and heads back to the village where you can hear the sort of grumbles of the city sort of going, mm, bread. Um, yeah, she makes the town breakfast. Yep. Um, the door has been shut. It's got the, I will peek inside. Cassian is fast asleep lying upon a you know, mattress of straw, uh, face down, nude, just... I'll go in and stop his ass. Wake him up. Make an attack roll. With advantage. <laughs> when, when he slaps his ass, is there like a pan or something that I can smash? <laughs> Does that mean it's an auto crit? If he hits. <laughs> ah! I should do it. I mean. Um, Unarmed strike, so this is strength plus proficiency. Um, I mean, you, could, you could use your lightning plus. 16. That's really wake him up. Could, yeah. 16? Cassian's AC. Are you 16? It is 16. <laughs> 
Well, you mean he's naked, so technically, I mean, I guess actually. He's a barbarian, he's an armor. He doesn't wear armor. Just a slap. Firm cheeks. Fire! Fire! Hey. Yeah, but goodbye. You missed an opportunity. You should have laid down. Hello. Thinking you've gone to bed with the baker and you wake up with a hip. <laughs> How much beer did I have last night? <laughs> what did uh, I have last night? Chum? Yeah, she. Um... She's already. Um, well, you know, she's a baker, so. Uh, yeah, well, we, we said our goodbyes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want a moment? We're outside. No, I'm good. <laughs> Stands up, stretches. <sighs> Can you uh, just pass me trousers? I'll just hang off the, yeah. the wheel. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, you did a good job on this hut. It's uh, really nice and warm in here. Mm, good. Cozy. Yeah. Cozy, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. mm -hmm. go. Let's not pretend that this isn't. You haven't seen this. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is weirder. Heads upside. Ah, he brought it wrong. Well, well morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smokey just nods. <laughs> Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go off without you? Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, are we ready? Um, are you ready? Are you all yeah. Concluded your business. We got you your warm line cloth. Ah. <laughs> Perfect. Now your ears are snug. <laughs> There's all the fucking my deer stalker hat. <laughs> Just this hat's coming on. That's crazy. Puts on the fur line, like gilet kind of thing that he's got. <laughs> this is uh, winter clothing. So, weapons. Westwood, mm. Westwood so to okay, so. Seven Home. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wind that was blowing in one direction. Yeah, always. Yeah, it's blowing in land. <laughs> Right, as you're leaving the city, the forest gate that you head into, because it's pretty much directly into forestry shortly after you leave, <laughs> it is covered with snow, about an inch or two under the canopy, uh, but much higher when you get into the various openings. Um, this might be relevant. Uh, is this a uh, deciduous forest or an evergreen one? Is there a canopy? Uh, there is a canopy. Right. I need context. Are there leaves on the trees? Why? 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 Because it might be relevant. Okay. <laughs> That's got to be the most specific question about a forest I've heard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I know. You're talking about what forest in winter, and I thought, oh, this might matter. If grit has stone cutting, power has <laughs> forest cutting. Except that Cassian is the one yes. who likes trees. Yeah, Cassian has no cutting. Do you think you're like cover in case there's a moth person attacking us? Maybe. <laughs> it sounds like, yeah, that works! <laughs> yes. I mean, there is also an element of this land is being magically enhanced to stimulate the plant growth, so there is that going on. Um, plus we were next to a magical maelstrom for a thousand years. The wildlife's a little weird. Um, yeah, we noticed. Yeah. Well, everything faces. Everything's weird. Sh shaped more. like some girls. Size. Yeah. Everything is the size of an elder thing. Like the size of dog. <laughs> The paths that have been trodden by scavengers or winter moving creatures spread throughout the snows. You can clearly see where he's gone. Red and purple winter berries poke out from the greens and whites of the land, and occasional birds, regular birds, flit through the branches, knocking snow loose as you walk. Occasionally just catching on the back of their neck. By regular birds, do you mean that they have human faces? Oh, no, they're just women. Or regular. <laughs> they're just women flying. <laughs> they are. Regular winter birds that you would expect to see winter. around Britain at oh. that time of year. So pigeons. robins, sparrows, <laughs> just <laughs> loads of pigeons. pigeons. Maybe a wren. Maybe a wren. Um, but you are going about. So, who would like to make a survival check to make sure you are going in the vein, right direction? Sure. Cassian is also an option. I'm fairly certain Cassian is one of the best Cassian survivors. Cassian has the best. Survival is a plus three. I've got a plus negative four. one. I'm one willing to roll. If it were nature related, then Cassian. Plus, not, I don't know if, if you want to eat some of these berries, or if you want to identify the winter birds that we can see. No, I'm, I'm I will. Know who to roll for. I will try to find the path. Oh. <laughs> but maybe, maybe someone Cassian could assist? Sure. Yeah. Have advantage. Why not? Oh, sorry, 
It's not too How difficult. To find West? It's not too difficult for you to keep the sun behind you. We're going east. Yeah. As you're sort of going, so it's you know, vaguely in the right direction. You've got Winsome's Mass, you kind of know you're vaguely the right latitude. You just need to make sure that you're keeping on some sort of steady course. You may find yourself going, you know, drifting a degree or two north or south as you go on, as you go around obstacles, but it's fairly fine. Um, but trudging through the forest, it can be a little bit difficult at times because of the snow. Um, so it is taking you longer than you had on your journey descending down from um, Newfound Town, mostly because of that sort of open plains and hills rather than snow it's forest. Boat yeah. away as well. And we're, we're, we're walking by a canal, which should be nice and flat. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> um, but it's a fairly quiet, pleasant journey. There's you know sounds of animals, you know, moving around in the trees. There's all sorts of bird song. Anything you would like to do whilst you're traversing at this point? I'd like to ask Craig about what this wonderful place is where we're going. I don't know if I'm <clears throat> going to give you the best impression of it. All right. So I've, I've heard it was. I've spent the most first of it. Town. Well, I spent a lot of time not actually f f necessarily freely moving around. So. Have we had this conversation before? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. Um, something. You can you can say nothing. Uh, I'm just trying to have to tell. Trying to give the right context. Bad crowds lead to bad decisions. This is true. Leads to. Time out for bad people. <laughs> and good people who were misled as well. And also the people who were misled. <clears throat> so you were misled. Uh, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, didn't really necessarily make the, right, the best decisions anyway, but then slightly misinformed me and made worse decisions. So, okay. So, what about the town? Uh, that was actually a question. Well, yeah, it's, well, I was just, maybe I was just, that's why I said maybe not the best. Um, yeah, great, lovely, people are lovely, everything's oh, lovely. I'm looking forward it's to it. It's really great, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely not any shady stuff going on. <laughs> Make an inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Make a deception check. Oh, it's new. Most of this is shady stuff going on. <laughs> Oh wow! These one bigger. <laughs> Rick rolled a two. I also rolled a two. <laughs> uh, Casting just whistling along. I think that's mine's a negative one. I think same. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no. Plus two. Oh. Four. One. <laughs> seems legit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seems legit. Yeah. You're sweating bullets, but you are <laughs> paying attention. <laughs> Snow. Dead empty in the eyes. <laughs> Your ears twitch slightly. Yeah, it's like... know how... Yeah. yeah. What yeah. you get from this is... I'm just making small talk, I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that was the shittest insight. <laughs> <laughs> you could have rolled a one. <laughs> I just... Uh... It hasn't just pulled out yet, I think that's my problem. So, mm. yeah. Here's <laughs> a mystery, perhaps an enigma. Yeah. Perhaps in Lederhosen. Yeah. Under a hippo. I'm an onion. <laughs> oh, those are so like onions. Oh, they anyway. stink. No! They make you cry. No! <laughs> As we are walking, I will uh, try and remember if I can, if I've seen anywhere like the properties of these winter berries you mentioned. Let's make an extra check. Not to help me, but. I'm also looking for edible stuff, because I don't think we brought much with us. Uh, you did get some rations, you got yeah. some like tack and some other right. bits and pieces, but you can still look for with the berries. foraging. 16. Yeah, Survival or nature, whichever you prefer. 16. 16. Uh, the winter berries are the sort of standard berries, they're almost kind of like, um, basically just like red currants, that kind of thing. But so not like, for example, Holly berries. No, or mistletoe or anything like right. that. They're, they are standard so they currants. Are edible. They are edible, yes. They're not 
hugely nutritious. They are a bit harder yeah. to chew, but they're fine in a pinch. They have a little bit of sweetness to yeah. stuff. Just so people know, you can eat the berries if you want. <laughs> they won't you take a bite of a rabbit meat. <laughs> I, will, I will say if you eat too many, you might get the runs. Because yeah. that tends to happen with just about anything if you eat too much of it. Yeah, that's but, true. Um, if but you yeah. see any different kinds of berries, be careful. Because 16. 16. Okay. Uh, as, mo- um, as well as these berries, you do see some um, like low hanging fruit from some of the trees. So you're looking up a little bit more than looking down. And there's like sort of almost caramel coloured apples. Look at that. Apple size. Mm. <laughs> like a grapefruit. <laughs> you have those seeds of really You still have the yeah. massive grape seeds which burned up and you left yeah, them back all the way. Yeah, I'm not sure. Just they take like four. Yeah, you can get some nice golden honey apples. That woman saw them. Yeah. In my load of hosen. Yeah. It looks like you've got some really weird long yeah. names. <laughs> you say caramelized and not actually like sticky. No, they're, car- they're caramel. <laughs> well, the skin is caramel colour. Okay, okay. Kind of looks like a, a creme caramel kind of thing. Yeah. And you just take it down the tree and you're like, huh. Yeah, I'm basically going to, mm. if it looks edible, I'm going to pick it and I'm going to store it. Okay. <laughs> you, keep an eye out. Yeah. <laughs> you keep an eye out for some various bits and pieces as you, as you go along. You find forage some random mushrooms and stuff just as you go along. Uh, you do notice him picking these apples. Uh, you do not know anything about these apples. Other than they look like apples. I have no idea what will happen if you eat those apples. If you're willing to try them, I'm willing to learn. What apples? Yeah. What apples? <laughs> An enigma. Wrapped, <laughs> wrapped in apples. <laughs> wrapped in puff pastry. It's making a lovely stream. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Hmm. As the day continues, you follow along the vague directional path led out for you by Asaria, and you start looking for a place to camp. The sun starts going down, and that's getting gradually shorter as your continue, as your you know, journey is continuing. So, sorry, the days are getting shorter. Not that we're under, getting towards the solstice, not that we're <laughs> it. You don't want it. Yeah. Um, you just carry on a little bit. I mean, you yeah. guys have said you've all walked this way before. Is this dangerous? No, we haven't walked this way before. <laughs> We've been to where we're going. We started from there, but we didn't come this way. Yeah, be, be, we before yeah. we were, before we went north and then back down south again. So instead of doing the big sides of the triangle, we're just trying to get straight across. As you demonstrate with the map. <clears throat> yes, I do have a check map. We went down there, and then we went down there. This is Mister Swirly. Swirly. I mean, as with, as with the forest, we could look for maybe a fallen tree or something to, to help us make shelter for the night. We're going to have to go a little bit south to get to um, Summer Home. Where? Are Summer we? Summer Home. Summer Home's there, that dot. Looks like pretty much due west. Yes, yeah, so that's quite a lot to out, uh, you know, map you on your own world here, Luke. But I just, I just bear in mind that that is a two-dimensional map. There is terrain. There is a massive hill just right at that point. Yeah, really, needs to spring out the ground. Where's the mountain gun? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the mountain? Yeah, look, there's the hill. It's in the middle of the forest. Yeah, the hill. It's terrain. No one knows what's in that terrain in between. You've not been there before. Still fog and war. Yeah. From start to town. <laughs> You're like, eh, it's fine. Basically, you've got a small slip going up through that canal and back down the other side. <laughs> then a little bit to the south. Um, as you're coming across, you do see a clearing up ahead that is signalled by the abundance of light in the area. As you approach it, you can see this clearing is about 500 foot around, just sort of loosely. Um, the area seems to be completely devoid of plant life. And it's covered in snow about a foot deep. Is that deeper? Yeah, it's, it's only because been like there's no tree cover. No tree cover. It's been about an inch or two going through okay. the forest, but okay. here it's about it's about a foot. Okay. The air is still here. There's no breeze blowing through the surrounding trees. I think we should avoid this place. Why? Because why is there nothing growing? Bit unnatural, isn't it? Just leave it clear. 
How regular is the shape? It's not a completely regular shape, but it's sort of loosely. I mean, if yeah. it's like anything else, it, you've got the irregularity of the tr the natural yeah. tree growth yeah. around it. So it's not a complete circle or a complete square. It's just a rough area. It is just a rough area. Okay. I'll kick a bit of the snow. And have a look at the ground in the clearing. Okay, kick snow. Uh, it's it's back at you. Okay, so just take it through. Yeah, this is behind his oh, eyes. He has to make a deck save. Mm -hmm. I'm remembering this time I have bonuses because I'm that level of power now. Luke knows that I'm just terrified of like snowy areas because he's going to kill a fourth character on the river hazes. <laughs> <laughs> now where is it's it? the only creature I fear in this entire game. It's, it's a, a real good one. He's killed so bonus, many of my characters. Bonus equal to my charisma modifier, so I have a plus four. Which makes an eight. Eight? Okay. You go to kick something, and as you do, your foot hits something, and you hear a... I hope that wasn't my foot. <laughs> Break your toe. You take five points of bloody damage, and you're, you have indeed broken a toe. <laughs> Ow. There's something hard under the snow. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> And where the foot has, the sort of gauntleted foot has gone through and has kicked through, you can see wood and leaves. Sorry, how big did this clear? About 500 feet around. Okay. I'm just going to carefully brush off the snow for yeah. several Brush off there, and you find there a six inch tall tree. Oh. Like a bonsai? Or like no, a stump. Like, like a miniature regular tree. Oh. Exactly the same as any of the other trees around here, but miniature. Ah. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, what hot cycle. Got to really have it in now. And you sort of brush around the area, you can see where the roots initially were, seemingly, and there are just holes where the roots would have been. The land has shrunk. Can I throw an apple in this? Yeah. Hits the snow. Yeah, I was going to say, did it shrink or...? No. Oh, yeah. that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust it. No, no. It was all for it until people started investigating it and it me out. <laughs> now there's a tiny tree in there and I don't understand Someone's what. magically shrunk it. Can I break it? I deliberately make a shrink tree. Make a shrink to check. Like, all, I'm, all, it's retaining all it's I'm doing it is, yeah, is, is, Eleven. Eleven. is it still <laughs> strong? No, it's not. No, it's very brittle. Okay. I mean, it's shrunken down. It's been within like snow and ice, and it's now. Yeah, it doesn't have the same density, though. Yeah. It's actually it's just it's got the same amount of mass, just in a smaller. Yeah. 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 I didn't snap it, and all of a sudden it's. Stendo tree. I've broken the. I've got I think it's safe to assume some kind of magic's gone on here. The question is, do we care? No. I think maybe go around and... I think, yeah, care enough to along. avoid it. Yeah. Not enough to investigate. Before it does, let's move. I think maybe back into the trees. And yeah, just and go around, around, around the edge. Shall yeah. we yes. move quietly? Yes. That's probably... Okay. I move quietly. <laughs> oh, no. That's suppose, That's supposing we quiet for me. Okay, uh, with disadvantage, yeah. depending on where you're on. Cool. Six. Six. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Oh, eight. <laughs> it's eight for Cassie. <laughs> I think it's alright for me. It's a 20. 20. Oh, those with disadvantage. Uh, it's a 19! Oh, 19, smoky. Okay. Oh yeah, smoky. Smoky. I mean, smoky's on, I would assume. Yeah, he's it's equally as loud, essentially, because they're uh, attached to the loud. So if Grit vanishes, the rest of us... Yeah. Be right back after this short break. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, what on. musical interlude are we going to have? That's a great question. I didn't order one. Oh. It's so random! Okay. As you're... Moving, and you sort of go 
Uh, what was yours? Total time? Ten. Ten. Okay, you're fine. So you and uh, what we'll say Pod when he comes back, just feel a nip at the base of your neck. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw, please. If they are you're actually reasonably good. If, at if they are close to me, they get a plus four. I'll uh, leave that up to you. I will say not for the purpose of this because you're trying, you're trying to stealth and just move around. Yeah. Not within the. Is it ten feet? Twenty-five. Okay. Uh, you do take five points of piercing damage from a nip of something biting you in the back of your neck. Yeah, within ten feet of me. Okay. Five points. Mm-hmm. It is but a scratch. I'm going to hold up my hands and say, I feel really bad for forgetting about the oil protection when we fought the moth, because it would have been really useful. Do you have it then? Yeah. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't ever looked since then. You didn't fight the moth. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Grip, Ross wasn't there. But it was Isaria, wasn't it? Isaria was there. Was you, two was, you two kept being sunlocked. Yeah. You kept failing the save. Yeah, which is why the bonus would have been oh, really it useful. The, um, it was the um, plant monster thing that Isaria wasn't yes. there for. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still. I was off forging for that one. We will wait for Bob to return before we continue with this. He's gone to get supplies. He's gone to get supplies. Possibly. There he is. Oh, so was it a romance? Uh, there was an attack against you and a bite with an actual 20, so How? Uh, make a constitution saving throw for me as you take uh, probably not. 11 points of piercing damage. Uh, and I am... Can't save. I failed. Fail? Fail? Eight. How bad? 8. Eight. <laughs> How is it that I have so much better constitution? I don't have anything. Both. You're a sorcerer. <laughs> well, <there's> Harry. <laughs> You're a sorcerer. It doesn't yeah. scare Thank you, Rob. You just keep it. I actually got it wrong. Okay, as this bike hits you, you go, ah! Everything around you Shivers. is getting bigger. <laughs> oh no. You can shrink down to. Yeah, pick me, hippo! <laughs> shrink down to half size. My value just doubled. <laughs> you now want some micro I think I shrunk the pod. You are now three feet tall. <laughs> three feet? Uh huh. That's fair. It's not too dissimilar to real life now. <laughs> just have that sharp bite of the back of your neck. <laughs> now I can wield the other tree like a club. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You've had, you've had a bite? I you? will spin round and try to see what it was that Make a perception check. Nine. Nine? You do not see anything. Something hit me. Perception check if you'd like to. I say something hit me so that everyone is aware. As if, like, the shrinking pod wasn't... Obvious enough. <laughs> uh, why is pod getting little? Eighteen? Eighteen. Uh, no, you don't see anything I like mm. Is this some ability of yours, Pod? No. So now you are shrunk. You uh, you have disadvantage on strength checks and strength saving throws, and your weapon attacks are reduced by one d four worth of damage. And you're not really advantage you're a spellcaster, but still. Is all equipment and clothing also shrunk? Mm-hmm. No, 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 drown no, 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 It's just hard. <laughs> that probably misses, but uh, to you, Grit, 24? Me? Yes. yes. Well, actually, no, to Cassian, 16 is his AC, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, both of you make a con save for me, please. I'd love to. Also, we should probably do a crap. Oh, I know what I can do. Okay. I'll <laughs> oh, wait until this happens first, and then you can do a thing. Um. Yeah. I'm going to the sweets. I'm trying to find more dice. Uh, con save, you mm. said? Yes. That would be a 17 for Grit. Grit's okay. Uh, takes. And a 17 as well for Cassian. Okay. Uh, both of them take, or the same number, 
six points of piercing damage. Okay. So he just bites. Like you're next. You were doing something? Oh, I should wait. Yeah. Spirit Guardians. Okay. I'll fucking do it, yeah. Uh, I will cast Spirit Guardians at uh, whatever level it is. Uh, third <laughs> level. level. Oh, it's a third level. Third level. Um, so um, I will designate only the party. Okay. Anything else is at half speed and takes damage at the beginning of their turns. Okay. You don't sense anything within the radius at this exact moment. Seems whatever these things are, they are fast. Shall we leave? I pick pod up. I think yeah. yes. As you're stood here at the moment, you suddenly see this creature start to move around in your eye line, and it is now starting to make itself a little bit more obvious. Two of them, these like little almost gnat-like things, almost about maybe about the size of a sparrow, kind of that sort of rough, tiny size of thing. Yeah, blasted. Moving around at quite high speeds um, with, I'll get the description of them so I can remind myself I put these in the future. Thing. Um, these are, look like they're almost draconic in nature with yeah. long Next tubular, with long tubular snouts. The eyes are red pupils which continually contract from wide spheres to tiny dots and back. Ooh. The two of them seem to line up in different angles and exhale a burst of gas that spreads over all of you into the two different lines that's going on. Um, and I need you all to make a constitution saving throw. Sorry, it's a dexterity. It's a dex save. Rather than constitution. That's a burst sound. Uh, oh, Cassian has advantage. 15. 15 is success. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. Do you roll a... What have you rolled there? Not high enough. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun fight. Oh. 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 Uh, you haven't damaged them yet. They went in the radius. I mean, I think I consider Spirit Guardian. Okay, that's like fair. It's an aggressive spell. That's fair. That's fair. I will say that works. So, 15 for you. So, that, you take 10 points of poison damage. 12. 12. <laughs> you take 20 points of poison damage and you shrink. I don't even need to. So, you are now small. Under the effects of reduced, basically. Mm hmm. Mm. Cassian is 16. 10 points of poison damage. Oh. Um, Grits is. 21 critted. 10 points poison damage. Uh, is he a top? He's not top of dwarf as a resistant poison. He is a type of. No, he's, I've got a s advantage on saving throws against poison. But he's not resistant to poison I damage. I don't think I actually have resistance to it, no. Double check that one. Uh, what about Smokey? Uh, yeah, I haven't done that yet. I, I oh, did nice. first concentration check. Thank you. Oh. 15. 15? Uh, he's okay. He takes 10 points of poison damage from deck save. And 22. 22. 10 points of poison damage. Uh, I need you all to roll initiative, please. This highly um, detailed map. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, yes, that green clear is that way, okay? Yeah, that's right. That's the one I like to pick. No, it's, that's the wrong way around. Can't you tell? <laughs> so we have. Uh, we'll say that this is just about the edge of the forest over here. All the other side. Yep. Uh, yeah. Cassia. Oh, resistance against poison damage, so it's five points. Five points poison damage. There. We've got Pod. And. This is all there. These two things are here and here, because I don't have two figures for both of them. And I don't have a. You mean I don't have a good name, unless you brought it with you. I think I brought one with me. I hope we're good. But, Jesus, okay. They were yeah. all, all high. Sure. Alright, so, uh, initiatives, everyone, please. 25 to 20. Uh, Cassian has advantage, just so far. Yes, I see that now. 
Worse. Royal. No, but, no, it is worse, but the other one was a two, so yeah. <laughs> Not much better. 20 to 15? 17. 17. I roll for smoking too, okay. 17 Thank you. Pod. Um, 15 to 10? Six, sorry, 16 for grit. 16 for grit, okay. 14. Okay. 10 for his eye, yeah. Okay. Uh, Cassian is a three, three, <laughs> and Smokey got a four. Uh, there's Cassian. Can you roll this big trophy one for Cassian? So the top of the round is the Greeks. So let's see if they get their breath weapons back. No, uh, one does, the other one doesn't. I'm going to say the one on the right does. Um, so just be clear. This is the big opening? That is the open area, okay. yes. Uh, and you are currently concentrating on the thing. I don't have those. With me? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, should I put this on you? Oh, cast a spell on you. Yep. And our two shrunken ones are Pod, which is here, and Asaria. Cool. Uh, the one on the right, this one here, is going to exhale another breath. So everyone in this area, so that is Isaria, Pod, uh, Pal, and Grit. So us. Yes. Yeah, basically everyone here apart from Laura. <laughs> everyone except for Laura. Um, and and Smokey. And Smokey. Um, whose mini is this one? That's is Laura. Is it static damage or are you rolling up? It is, isn't it? No, that is a uh, mini of some description, in which case you're here. Because uh, there's only five of you, you got the. So actually, you're fine. I'm fine. Yes. Okay. I've got a mission. Formation. I think I used this mini for you last time. Mm -hmm. I think it winds out. Mm. Uh, just because the ease of it. So, uh, Dex Age, please. Anyone within 10 feet gets plus four. We'll say for the purpose of this, you've now sort of clustered up a little bit. Just in the initiative roll. So, plus four. On a Dex? Mm -hmm. 25. 25? Okay. Uh, Critted again. Yes. I gritted again. Eighteen, so nine points <laughs> poison damage to you, reduced down to five. Nineteen. Nineteen. You take uh, nine points poison damage. Twenty-three. Nine points poison damage. The other one is going to fly in, which does get within the range of your spirit guardian. So it's when they enter or when they. Uh, Start they turn with it. Yes, yeah. uh, they make a natural one. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Yes, wisdom saving. Natural one mm. fails. Well, the unless they unless they have a uh, plus fourteen to their wisdom saving throw. Four. <laughs> uh, so that's eight, twelve, uh, nineteen points of radiant damage. Which points of radiant damage to number two. Nice. Um, okay, so it is going to attack against Cassian. Uh, it's going to start off first with his two claws. Oh. Uh, natural 20 and okay. a 22 to hit. That'll probably put one more hit. It is at half speed as well. It is at half speed, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's got a fly speed of 60. It can get within range yeah. and zip out again if it needs to. Uh, so that is... 8 plus 6, 14 points of slashing damage to Cassian, and then it will make its stinger attack as it comes around biting into him. Um, it will then make its sting, which is another 22 to hit, and he needs to make a con save. Uh, 18. 18 is a success. He takes uh, 7 points of piercing damage. Uh, it's then going to. Just zip back up away, so you can make an attack of opportunity if you so chooses. Um, Cassian have Sentinel? He does have Sentinel. He w yes, Cassian will make an opportunity okay. attack. He has a disadvantage, as it is a tiny, tiny little mat. <coughs> I thought it was like the size What's of the... What's the... Uh, but a small bird like a robin. Uh, it's all just plus sixes. So you tried hitting a robin with a tennis racket? It's not easy. <laughs> Axe? <laughs> or hammer? Axe? I think axe. Axe? Okay. I'm just basing literally on what the item is written on here. It says axe plus six to attack, but it was with disadvantage, you say. Yes. That's better. Yeah. Uh, so that would be 19 to hit. 19 hits. So, axe gets stopped. 
and it is this. Nice. Almost 13 points of damage? Mm-hmm. Oh, I get to attack again? No, I don't get yeah, yeah. No, no, that's only reaction. Oh, it's only yes, yeah, on the action. Not his turn yet, but he, yeah. that one is now stuck within the range. Like turn for a little while, to be honest. That means he'll start his turn in the Spirit Guardians. Oh. It's still, still up. Yes. True. It's an issue. Right, I need to go back to trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, that is the end of its turn. Oh, uh, well, their turns, sorry. So that brings us to Pod. Oh, thank God for that. Uh, are they in a 30 foot cube? Uh, actually, this one probably would have moved a little bit further away. Apologies, just because line of sight and gone up slightly. Um, so they're not within a 30 foot cube of each other. Mm. Not quite. Um, damn, more lots on the other two spells. Um, <laughs> not that old rich blast, the one that's flying away then. Okay, making that roll. Again, disadvantage because it is small, tiny. That's the first one. Eight for the miss, yep. Probably miss the second one. Eleven. Eleven misses, yeah. The first mm. first one's both of those are real good. Mm. As you take the blast, you take your shots and you just try and fire out. Be two little tiny darts just fire out towards it, they're just ducking around them. It's hard for you to aim when there's bigger people in your way. So usually you're the biggest one. It's a bit of a, a weird situation. I understand why people dislike my stance. Would you like to move? Uh, yeah. Uh, which one am I the one at the back there right now? You are this one here. Yeah. Uh, move me to Ross. Side. Yeah. Blue? Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, Grit. I'm gonna move back out of the breath weapon range, basically. Mm-hmm. An arbitrary number. This is range of reach of pi. Yeah, yeah. whatever, maybe, yeah. An imaginary number. <laughs> I'm not a mathematician. Oh, 25 feet, I'm sorry. I'm sure. I'm gonna be minus one feet of pi. I will um, say you have got the tree cover here, so there is partial line of sight yeah. issues, so just mm-hmm. be aware of that. I'll move yeah. as far back as I can while well being at least, at least to one of them. I think particularly this one. Okay. And I'd like to cast Shatter, please. Okay, so the con setting is. It is, yes. Uh, 16. It is the save. Okay. Um, it's on number one. And that is 3d8. I can only find one. Oh, I found 2d8. Nice. Can I find a third d8? I cannot, so I'm just going to roll these two. Uh, it's nine with an extra bonus one. Oh, okay, ten. Ten points of thunder damage. Okay, so as you dive back, <laughs> this crackle of energy bursts in Neptune. Time to make things. Good, excellent, nice. Okay, anything else? But you're good. Uh, I will. Um, um, uh, what's that thing where I get some uh, help, uh, temporary health? Uh, Use your bonus action to activate your ocean. ward. Yes. Okay. I will shield up. Angry Palimpsest. Angry Palimpsest is going to twin spell a fireball. Okay, make your attack rolls and disadvantages. So first. one at each of them. Mm-hmm. So the one on the one near me. Yes. Uh, that's <laughs> with an 18 and a 19. Got it. Uh, plus 7, so 25. Uh, does 2d10. Mm-hmm. It's d10 somewhere. Uh, 12 points of fire damage. 12 points of fire damage to the one that's closest, okay. The one on the far side. Uh, two 16s. Oh, hey. Uh, so 23. So you go then mine. I'm just going to move everything yeah, yeah. this way, yeah. so we're at least on. I prefer it. This is the tree. We'll say that this fold is the tree line. Uh, only four damage on that one. Four damage to that guy, and you are back here. You are back here. Yeah, I would... Try right to keep in range of the uh, of the one that's it was four stuck. To, four to the one that was. Four to that one. Gotcha. Twelve to that one. Okay. Cool. Uh, and you one. done? Yes. Sorry. Uh, that one is a little bit elevated, just as a reminder. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sorry. Well, I can't see the monster. You are okay. here on that one. Okay. <laughs> so, with me being small, do I think I would actually be able to? Hit, reach and hit that, or is it no, too high? It's too high. Okay. Um, my movement is reduced, so when, uh, there. Your movement's 
movement's fine. Is it? Okay, yeah. It's only your uh, melee attacks and strength. Ch strength checks, strength saving throws, and your weapon attacks reduced by 1d4. Okay. Um, to a minimum of 1 damage. Okay, I'll run over to the one that's being stopped by Cassian. There you go. I will wield my war... up next. I will wield my Warhammer two-handed. Okay. And I'll try and back it. Go for it. Disadvantage, I presume? Yes. Ooh, 17. 17 will hit it. Um, yeah. 10 points of bludgeoning. Points of bludgeoning, I'm just not getting the crap kicked out of it. Um, second, Whack! Second attack. Yeah, six is probably not going to hit. Six misses. The first one, you hit it so hard, it gets lo loses its perspective, and you go for a second swing. Yeah, it's not there, it's a bit of a bizarre scenario <coughs> for so it. Like yellow pages, I bet it does double damage. <laughs> the electric tennis racket. Yeah. Vulnerable to <laughs> phone box. Right, that is there it. That's your turn. Yeah, this is a spooky. Um, yeah. Um, breath. That seems a bit overkill for just one guy. Unlikely to be able to get two in a breath weapon when they're that maneuverable. Just, oh, I guess it recharges on the thing, doesn't it? Sure, breath weapon! It does a lot of damage, to be fair. It does a lot of damage. Okay, uh, dexterity saving throw, please. I bet, he, I bet their dex is massive. 17. I rolled a 10. They're maneuverable. You just beat the 13 DC, though. <laughs> I strive for mediocrity. We take half damage, 5d6. Mm -hmm. 7, uh, 13. 13. 17. 17. Reduced down to nine. Nine. Thank you. Um, Smokey, just... reaches them. <sighs> just exhales a burst of flame, which does start to melt some of the snow in that mm. immediate area. I'm just going to just scooch around this side. All right. Cool. Hey, Cassie. <laughs> if you want to offload Smokey to someone else, feel free to. Oh, it's like, I mean, yeah, I mean, just... Smokey's not difficult. Yeah, we'll just we'll keep him in the middle. Smokey does one of two things. Shared custody. If possible, claw and yeah. bite, if not. Well, jump and attack if you can, yeah. Well, I assume it may be well. Oh, yeah, jumping. Yeah, let's go one. We'll just take a tiny step forward. Mm -hmm. Rage. Okay. Bonus action. So as, as he rages, as Cassian rages, the oh, yes, spark so of electricity... I'm doing, doing these things, I don't know what's going to happen. The yep. spark of electricity mm. surges off him, so makes the deficit for all 1d6 of... Lightning damage? Sure, yeah, that sounds great. Four. So it takes two points of lightning damage. Right. Electricity arcs off him. I'm going to make some attack rolls. Yes. Are you going to be reckless? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't really know how. So it's currently at disadvantage. If you go reckless, then it gives advantage to cancel out. I will do that. Okay. As I drop the dice. <laughs> so I said yes before I. I hope yes. Sorry, sorry. So that's it? That Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Uh, that's, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I'm yeah, assuming you're just yeah. keeping with the axe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not messing around here. Yeah, yeah. D12 plus 5, so 15. Oh, 15, yes, thank you, yes. Uh, plus rage? Uh, plus yes, plus, plus, three, plus 3 strength, plus 3 two rage. rage. Yeah. Plus 2 rage. It's plus, plus 1, one weapon, the, uh, so it's a plus 6 damage. So it's 16 points of reading, which is quite a cool number. She's got plus 3, or 5 in brackets. Yeah. It should be a plus 1 weapon. Because it's the one that you enchanted, mm. so plus 1. What's her attack modifier? Plus six. Their strength is three. No, we're not looking the wrong one. Yeah, that's strength three. is three. Oh. Plus proficiency is six. six. Strength is three for this, plus two for the rage. Which that's should... damage only, isn't it? Right? It's a plus two. Rage yes. plus two damage, yes. yeah. It still should be a, a plus one modifier because it's a plus one weapon. So it should be a plus seven to hit. So, so it should be and four and six. Regardless, it's 16 points of damage. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Second turn? Yes, please. I'm just going to correct that just before I forget. Cool. I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to Misses. Uh, 11 because it's plus one extra now. No, this is. Misses. This is <laughs> the weapon. God, I feel like this game's rigged against you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, you're right. No, it doesn't have the plus one because it's a differently magically enchanted. It's the one that if it crits, it does a burst of fire. Yes, that is written down here. Yes, so I'll give it one more hit point. So rub that out. You've ruined a sheet now. God. 
Uh, we'll leave there and she'll forever have an extra one now. Well, I've turned it back to five. Why have I got one? I've turned it back to five. Alright, that is the end of the two. That's the end of everyone else's turn, so let's see if that gets That's us a weapon back. Does. Very as well. I don't know. I've played. I, I, I only know because I've played Barbarian for the first time. I've played Barbarian for the first time. Just good, just good practice. Okay, so. Many women have to play DD at this point. So. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Let's see how we're going to do this one. So this one starts with its turn, takes the yep. uh, wisdom save. Wisdom save, that is a 14. Uh, it takes, uh, that, it, that does not pass the 15 DC. Uh, it takes 16 yeah. points yeah. of radiant damage. Points of radiant damage, okay, hello. Well, just because I don't know, I'm assuming there's no aura around Cassian as well. But no, he's got, storm, he's got the storming aura. That's yeah. what did the damage. Oh, That's what did the lightning damage. Okay. Wait, did you do already do that? You're, sorry, it's, it's turn again is what I was asking. Does it happen at the beginning of its turn? No, it happens when, so as a bo- when, when he rages, when he rages and, as a bonus, and as a bonus action, he can do the damage again. One okay. raging. Cool, so that one is very hurt. Uh, so it is going to use its stinger attack against you. Which hits with a 25. Yeah. yeah. Good so yeah. roll, uh, roll a triple roll con save for me, please. Con save, um, 21. Nice. Uh, yeah, you, you, hang on, 23. Oh, yeah. well, I'm going to Uh So you take eight points of piercing damage, but you are not shrunk any further. It's like front of page um, as well. Yeah. Got a whole strategy going Really legible handwriting as well. Mm. Yeah, she, she good. Um, and is going to use its thing as massive action, so it's going to be doing more attacks. Well, hang on, time. it's hit me. Yes. Hellish Rebuke. Ooh. <gasps> Hellish Puke. Which you don't have to roll to hit. It's a save, I believe. Yes. How many people are around you? <laughs> <laughs> I have resistance to fire. I'm not I, I think it only hits the thing that Ooh. I... It almost <laughs> never has come yeah, up with resistance to I point my finger and the creature that damaged me is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. Must make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Uh, which is a 21. I'm not sure what my... 2d10, oh, yeah. fire damage halved. Yes, that beats my DC. I mean, you're a half cast, so let's be fair. The DC is never going to be super high. We have a plus 4 charisma, which is as much as mine is. And so that is... 15? 6, six halved. 3. Which is 3. It should be Good 8 point. plus 3 plus your mm. charisma modifier. Oh, it's on beyond, so it can't be wrong. I just thought it'd be higher. Uh, it's then going to make two claw attacks against you since you used her to roof mate. It's decision easy for it. Uh, but I mean, it's, the lowest is a 22 and then a 26, yeah. so we'll. No, no, take Ow. your time, think about it. <laughs> I don't even have my shield now. Make, make sure. So that is 16 points of slashing damage from the two attacks. Ow. All together, so not 32. <laughs> yes. Good. Uh, the other one is going to fly down to here and is going to exhale its breath weapon at you two. So both of you made constitution saves. I'm going to die. Sorry, dex saves. Dex saves. My constitution stop the correct Yeah, okay. Oh, this is going to suck. Yeah, this is going to be good. Oh, mm. I rolled real low. Good, good. <laughs> Eight on the save. Seven Eight. on the save. You both take 11 points of poison damage. Wow. Reduced to six. Do I get an uh, advantage on saving three? So I get resistance, yes. Oh. <laughs> you take good. six points of poison damage, you take 11 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, it's a lore of what is a dice lodged in the wall. <laughs> you are now small. You are now tiny. Great. Oh. Do I get a boost to AC now? No, he's harder to hit. Am I also harder to hit <laughs> if I mo- run really quickly? You are a little harder to hit, so I'd say you do get uh, the benefits of partial cover, so you do get a plus, passive plus two. I find this more agreeable now. <laughs> from range. <laughs> Melee weapons, they could just uh, squish you, but. Cool, so you are now very small. It's a bulge. I'm just going to put that on you, it's just real small. Uh, and then it's going to fly back away. You can make an attack roll. But if you would like to get a you might just a disappear. Melee yeah. attack roll. Go on. You are the same size as it, so you could. It's not a straight roll on this one, because you are the same size. <laughs> 13 or a 20, so 17. 
to hit. 17 hits it. Punch Do it. I get a penalty to damage? Uh, yes, mine's 1d4, but it's a minimum of 1 damage. That should be 2d4, because it's wrong twice. <laughs> Are you just punching it? <laughs> a 1 damage! She rolled more on the reduced than he did on the damage. <laughs> <laughs> a 1d10 got outdone by 2d4. <laughs> what weapon were you attacking with? Uh, the sword. Yeah, the long sword, yeah. Okay. Oh, you've got your pack weapon. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Cool. Uh, that is the end of that Drake's turn. Hey, Pod, it's your turn. Great. <clears throat> Can you make a wisdom saving throw? Sure. Uh, unnatural 20. It is not hypnotic pattern. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, that's my turn then. All right. Well, okay. Bonus action? I have one. Okay. <laughs> I have nothing I can do with that, I don't think. Uh, grit. I'll move. I'm assuming I'm going to have to move forward now to get a bit more vision because I'm probably more in the undergrowth. More obstru- yeah, more obstructed by the undergrowth. So I'm going to see the back here, I would imagine. Uh-huh. On the tree line. Sure. And then I'm going to... Mm, let's try it. I'm going to apparently just navigate to my inventory <laughs> as I just pull out my... I think I'm going to ice knife. I'm um, going to aim back which is low. I think I'm going to just... Level one it. Okay, make an attack roll with disadvantage because it is. Yeah. Not that die, that's a curse. <laughs> hey! Come on. Just I thought you disadvantage, which is a 19, but. 19, uh, 27? 27 will hit. Um, 19 and a 20. Yeah. Mm. Boy, did good. Mm. Call his dice out. Yeah, he did. You're cursed! Publicly call him out. A two. Well, Plus, you cast it level two, didn't you? Mm, not level, level one. one. Okay. So two. For being honest, I said level one. Okay. Um, plus dexterity saving throw, which is probably easy to see on. Nope. <sighs> not on a twelve. That is nine points of cold damage. So nine points of cold damage and two points of piercing. Piercing. Is that only two? Is it with your dex mod? I don't choose a spell, I do not add anything to it. Okay. Alright, so the, di- the knife flies through the air, hits the creature, <laughs> just explodes with ice crystals around it. It is unhappy with that. But it's actually. Isn't that area now difficult to train as well? Uh, no, no, it's, no it's, flying. Not. it's not. It's um, not. Oh, I don't think I have to. Uh, although it is going to be difficult to train for you because it's a foot high snow and you're six inches tall. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't said like I'm drowning or something yet. Well, you're not in the snow. Oh, good. I won't move then. The snow is about an inch around your head. It's basically knee level for you. I'm just going to. Um, more temp hit points. I still have one left, but I'm just going to top up because I think that's yep. really cool, sensible. Pow. Um, I will make sure that that one is still within 15 feet of me. Uh huh. Uh, and so I will twin so another, another twin, it. twin fireball. Go for it. Um, so on the one close to me, <laughs> some eighteen and the twenty hits. Um, for that's cocked. Uh, eleven points of fire damage. Points fire damage, nice. And on the other one. Mm-hmm. Oh, probably won't hit. Uh, 15. 15 just hits. Ooh. Just. Uh, for 11 points again. Uh, no, sorry, 13. <gasps> 9 plus 4, 13. Nice. So the two bolts of fire <laughs> just crackle off as just the darkness in your eyes is just focusing in, just, <laughs> just tracking the movement of these tiny creatures. Phew. Uh, sorry, you are up. Ah, so that's one next to me is still alive. Barely. Real Barely. hurt. This bear. Hey. Smoke is up next. Yeah, let's just try and whack it and eat you. Finish it off. Okay. Still with disadvantage? Yes. Okay. It is small. Well, exactly you. now we know. Mm. Okay. Two handed warhammer again. Whack. I guess. Oh, I need to see if it charges actually. Ooh, yes. A 17. Hit. Um, it's just a bit like oh, Yes. Good choice, good choice. You can move it. Wait, I need to charge it. Wow. 
So with your ones a d4? So we're yeah, I rolled a one on the d10 and a two level. on the minus d4. So it's just, at least it's just taking away from your strength. Does it reduce the strength? It reduces your, so it's the overall damage it reduces, okay, right? So, so it'll be your strength bump by the reduction, right? Would have, would have been five, so reduced down to three. Okay, good oh, damage. It's still standing. Yeah, okay. Not much longer. No, I thought it was good luck, which is one of those DC. It's going to be Luck fun. again. I'm going to use it's it. Not, <laughs> it's still got concentration when it starts its turn. It oh, will yeah, take at happy. least three damage. Thirteen? Thirteen yeah. misses. I'm done. All right. What's better than a weapon you never have to use, right? <laughs> Time for the forest strike. <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed to work. Smoky <laughs> fire <breath>. No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, no, sorry. Make it next. He can move. She and um, no, no, Smoky. He can move. <laughs> Where is Smoky moving to? To yeah, enact this fire yeah. breath. Mm. It's flying, right? Mm. It, it, I think it is. It's moving it's around. It's over. Smokey just runs. Here? No, no, no. Oh, God, you're Smokey so runs yeah, go and then does like a little barrel onto his back and. Oh, oh cool. Like slides underneath? Yeah. yeah. Just drive by that. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? Miami Heat just slides over the bonnet. Oh, it's definitely some Miami Heat. <laughs> uh, that is a theme on the deck save. That is the. 13. 13. 13. Uh, so well, for, for fun, roll acrobatics for Smokey just to see how cool this is. Bitchin. <laughs> 19 plus his dicks. Which is minus one. Which is 18. 18. 18. Still it's a Just lumbling lizard goes scampering along. <laughs> Spiral of fire comes five up and whacks it in the face. Uh, five. Five D6. Five D6. That's so much. It has two hit points. This is. <laughs> oh, 16. So down to. Eight. Well, the dice gives you better weapons you use it. Did a little bit and Smokey just lands, turns around, looks smug. Comes in a little shake off. When you charge it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He knows what he did. He could have saved it. I look at him and I'm annoyed. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Could have. Could have saved it and used it on the one that's really yeah. healthy. <laughs> or looked cool. Looked cool every time. Cassian. Oh, oh crap. Um, Wait, does Smokey want to move anywhere? Yeah, he's going to just meander like another 15 feet towards yeah. this one. So he used that double. But he's cut, the thing is, for Smokey to get there, he has to kind of jump through the snow. So he's like a, a, mighty mighty, a dog through the snow. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Cha cha, real smooth. <laughs> Uh, I'm, uh, I'm presuming not so tall that Cassian can't yeah, reach. Can, can swing with still disadvantage unless you wish to be reckless. I will always be reckless. With someone else's character. That uh, a 90 to hit. <laughs> that hits. And I'll just do the second attack while I'm here. Uh, it's also a hit. Uh, 14 to hit. No. First one hits, First second one doesn't. Hits. Uh, are you going to use the Stormy Aura? Oh yes, and a bonus action I will use the Storm, Stormy Aura. Stormy Aura. That's a 26. And that is... A number, a fourteen on uh, the. Um, what point of damage? And then roll d six four lightning. One. It's one point of lightning. Uh, I should have rolled the and charge it. Yeah, and I should have rolled the lightning damage. You've got to match the element and also the charge. Yes, <laughs> as Smokey as uh, Smokey goes bounding through the snow, Cassian just runs, tearing a furrow through there. That's my good to sort of follow behind, <laughs> passing through the snow, and then leaps up the axe and whacks into it. Uh, mm -hmm. Does he get the breath weapon back? No. <laughs> Didn't charge it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't believe enough. That's what it was. Uh, uh, so it is going oh, to God. attack uh, with the claw, both claws first against the uh, now accelerated Cassian. Yes. Which just well, one was a one, the other one was a fourteen. So a twenty-one to hit on the first. Second one is a natural twenty. That also hits. He's got HP more. More HP than I. Like to start with almost. He's got how many double wires? What is? This? One hundred and two. Yeah. It's fixed thirty-six points of slash damage. Reduced down to eighteen. Okay. So he's raging. Oh, he's raging. Oh, he's raging. And then he's going to attack with the Stinger. 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 
uh, which is a 24 to hit, and he needs yeah. to make a con save. Con save. Ooh, he's a big number. He's fine. He takes, a, takes another four points of hit. No, exactly. He's already rounded down. 41, thank you. 41 hit points. He's yeah. on more than most of you started, which is interesting. Uh, he's then going to fly up a little bit just to get out of the way. He may make a uh, reaction. Of, yes, of duty attack. Sentinel. Uh, Sentinel. This is at disadvantage because Reckless I mean, does not carry. Gonna fail I mean, the four was a miss, so. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Can my hit? Who would know? I mean, we do know. <laughs> Maybe his AC would change. Who knows what wacky. Like your voice. <laughs> wacky things you will do. Okay, it's going to fan out the way. Awesome. It's yeah. Keep flying. It's just going to fly over this way towards the tree tower. So now. Uh, that is the end of its turn. The other one is dead. Pod. Tiny pod. pod. Eldritch Pod. Oh, actually, no. Even. Uh, I'm going to conjure a cloud of daggers upon it. <laughs> Dex save? This is it. Uh, no. Enters the spells area for the first time. And... Uh, and... No. You fill the air with some daggers, you choose within the range. Creature takes this amount of damage when it enters the spell area for the first time on a, on a turn or starts its turn there. Okay. There's no save against it. No save. It's not a huge amount of damage though, is it? It's like 1d4. It's 8d4? I'm a warlock, I don't get the choice. Do 24 points of slam. <laughs> well, it's well, it's when it enters or starts it, says so it doesn't. It's when it's entered. It, no, no. I've don't. made it enter. I've declared enter. It will end. It, it will start. It starts its turn, it will take the damage at the start of its turn, yes. Okay, I'll roll that again when it comes to that. It's okay. not. Okay. It's roll it hmm. d4 ever. Interesting. Uh, so there's now, as, as, as Pod just waves his hands around, just daggers start appearing. Might be ice knife that's around there, so that sort of crystalline blade sort of <laughs> spinning around the space. Anything else? I smile maliciously. No one can see it because you're smaller than anything else. Uh, do I now concentrate? <laughs> <laughs> I am laden <laughs> with hosen. You are now uh, encumbered. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, great. If it was oh, snow melts, but if, if, I mean, this is all good because I, kind of, I don't want to do anything because I don't want to. Uh, ruin the cool turn. Yeah, ruin well, the kill. Right? I'll try. I'll move uh, just out so I can. Oh, it's good. I'm just... attacking the main frame. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to. Ooh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> do it. No, because I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. How big is the area? Five foot cube. Okay, yeah, don't do that. I was like, I'm already thunder. I'm going to oh, push it out to the spell. Cube. I thought you said five foot cube. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun, it's a DM, it's a five foot cube. It's a five foot cube. <laughs> I'm just going to... How much damage does it do? It's a five foot cube. Chromatic orb. Go for it. Um, Make yeah. a hand roll disadvantage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Does they, don't they like average out or something like that? Okay. The average on that would still miss. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I will not bonus action. I will. One, two, five. Okay. Move slightly more out of the way. Pow. They make a charisma saving throw. A charisma saving throw? I will drop. Concentration on the escape valve. Just the same throw. The 19. Crap. Was that How is was furious? That <laughs> it was. These rebellions have a favour with me. Uh, it's sorry. I, I will actually, uh, I'll get close to it. Hi. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm getting. Yeah. Alright. Uh, as you. you reason, you go, Fuck off. Effectively, and. Doesn't <laughs> go anywhere. Really irritating. There is now much rage. Uh, oh, should you not be doing the save at the end of your turn to see if you break out of it? Or are you just beating no, it and um, change like... So I do, it, I do a save any turn I do something harmful. When I fail, I stay in that state until uh, someone, I or one of my allies, falls unconscious. Copy that. Cool. Uh, sorry. You are up. Yes. What's that? It's the dice. Where's the buckets? Yeah, it's bugging me for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, Scurried around. I'll just. 
I think I'll move 35 feet towards it. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> Lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just going to lay on hands myself for 20 hit points. Okay, you heal yourself 20. That's all good. 20. I mean, I rolled it last time. Who well, no, no, it was that was the system. You right, can't break the system, system now. Don't break the system. <sighs> See, look, you do it. We didn't chop. That was a one. Okay, two by two, then a one. Um, he can't get there. He can do a leap. He can't jump further Fifth. than his movement. Fifteen, and then he can jump further. Where's his movement? He's essentially climbing in the air. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, he jumps. It's fine. So what's what's his, what, what's the what's his mighty leap say? Thirty for sure. What's the mighty leap? Um, Drake's long jump is no. Uh, where is it? Mighty leap. Oh yeah, the Drake's long jump is thirty feet, and its high jump is fifteen feet, with or without a running start. Additionally, if it ends its jump within five feet of a creature, the first attack roll it makes against that creature before the end of its turn has advantage. Okay, so you can see where he is. Short. He can spring forward. Yes. That is, he's limited by his overall movement speed. Yeah, so, so he'd be short, but. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> so is your character. Uh, he, uh, he slashes <laughs> Brett from behind. <laughs> yeah, he just jumps closer. Okay. Is that it? That's, right. that's, that's it. it, yeah. That's that's it. It. All right. Cassian. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, five, ten, fifty. He is higher than out of Cassian's reach at this point. Cassian can attempt to make a jump to I, swipe I would it. say a jump and a swipe. Or well, at least a jump and a... Or Stormy Aura. Te uh, he is. I'll say he can make the jump and, and attack and the Stormy Aura whilst he clips it and it'll just be a boss on the save. Sure. It's so, a reckless, so it's a straight roll. Yes. And he's only going to be one attack because he's using the effectively the momentum of the other attack. Sure. Make jump. I will take an attack. Uh, Dex save is a 22 on, against the lightning. Okay, let me just. Um, I think take half, just take half damage. It's two. Two points lightning. Uh, and then it's a 24 to hit. It's. Which would be one, two, I just kill I just kill that book. Yeah. Um so D10, D9, D12. Oh, I want a D12. Oh, I've been wrong. No, I have been wrong. I don't have the wrong right You have. Uh, uh thank you. 14. 14 points of damage. You can't My cat is the and just slashes underneath it, lands on the ground. Cool. It is its turn. Gets the breath weapon back. It is going to whoosh. Right. Didn't it start its turn in the Cloud of Daggers? It did. It, it did. did, so roll damage for me. <gasps> it's still alive! I really thought it was going to die before then. No one hit it. 18. Oh, that's a shame. I thought it yeah, the other roll was really good. Yeah. Yeah. 18 points of damage. Nice, the Cloud of Daggers, it cuts in. He's getting angry now. So we're going to swoop down and breath weapon on the three people who are lined up here, which is Isaria, Pod, and... Uh, yeah. Ow. Dex save, is it? It is a dex save. Plus four on the side if you're within two. Great! Both of you get the plus. The bonus. That is a. Uh, many. That's a 30. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> just a just makes it. <laughs> you go for matrix. Um, it's a shame it's not like a green. 17. 17. Sorry, 17. Sorry, I'm looking at comp. It's a uh, 26. Oh, oh less impressive. 17. Okay, we're fine. 17. 17. Okay, both fine. So you fine. all take 11 points of poison damage. Didn't kill them for a flat minute. <laughs> and you none of you are shrunk. Sure. <laughs> I thought I failed that, I was dead. It is, however, going to uh, make a secondary attack against it you is. with a. It's in one bite attack. In one bite. Um, but as its bonus action, it's small. It, as its bonus action, it swells back up to still, you know, about the same size as Smoky. Um, makes its attack against you, which is an eighteen to hit. Yeah. Uh, Does it not have disadvantage because I'm so <laughs> Make me dexterity saving throw, please. No. Plus four. Oh, great. Double the plus four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's great. Yeah, fifteen. Uh, think... No, twenty-five. Sorry. 25, okay. It goes in for a bite against you and you just <laughs> duck into the snow, gets a mouthful of snow, <laughs> and it just takes off back into the trees. Is it in the air? Or opportunity it is in the air. air. You may make an attack of opportunity if you so wish. God, I need war cast. <laughs> okay. uh, disadvantage again, I assume. Oh, yeah. But 
No, it's back to its regular size. Oh, cool. Uh, 23 to hit. Hits. So roll damage, but you are minus 2d4. <laughs> Come on. Seven. Seven. Minus. Four. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> One point of damage. You're bucketed with your sword. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah. They were all so well on D4s. <laughs> Apart from when I needed to. Hey, Paul, you're up. Cool. Eldritch. Oh, actually, bars. make a. Uh, just roll a constitution saving throw to see if you maintain concentration on your fire no. daggers. No. No. <laughs> it's all very tough. You had it really, really the first really four. It wasn't good. It wouldn't have made a difference. <laughs> 20 to hit. Uh, does hit. It's back to his regular size, so the damage he does hit. Still minus the D D4s, yes? Uh, no, not for magic. Not for spells. Ha! 14! 14 on the first. And the second. 20 to hit again? It's. Ooh. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. 10. 10 more to have. It's. You clip its wings as it's flying away and just. <laughs> wang into it with the, these tiny little dots. That just wang. <laughs> That's where I fire it from. <laughs> wang. Wang blast. <laughs> Cool. Uh, that Got is Eldritch Wang. <laughs> Got Wang. <laughs> that is the end of it. No, it's, it's Got Wang. It's Got Wang. I'll save your turn unless you want to move anywhere. Think. Where you no, because I'll drown. <laughs> Where you I'll suffocate in Satan. By my Pissaria. No, because you might think I'm one of them and fucking belt me or something. <laughs> uh, I've got great HP to be silly. Oh, yeah. It's still me. Well, it seems still alive. Mm. I don't think Community is going to be dead and it's not. So Fast Ball maybe... Special? <laughs> <laughs> I hopefully, if you throw me, I'd regain my size. Five. Uh, I'm going to use Colossus and Wolverine. Wolverine, but it is also now pretty much anyone and Wolverine. Either of the Wolverines. <laughs> All of the Eans. Oh, Ice Knife again. Sure, make a roll. Spit uh, roll because it is now full size. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, that's a big number. Got that's it. Uh, 26 to hit. Roll damage. That is. Oh, Jesus. It's one point of. Um, Piercing damage. Oh, and needs to make a dex save throw, please. Oh my god. Ooh, Seven rolls. I mean, it doesn't succeed, but it will take four points of cold damage. I mean, as the ice hits it, it <laughs> blows open its chest oh, Jesus. and yeah. just <laughs> explodes the entire body to the ground. It is dead. That is the end of the diminishing rates. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I sit down. Oh, that that was was <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Someone steps in. Is it could everyone, happen. Is everyone okay? Uh, uh, you're next. Yeah. Who's looking dangerous? I mean, probably. Oh, no, it would be um, the raging barbarian. <laughs> probably the most dangerous at this point. Yeah. Everyone else is. Everyone else is smaller. <laughs> everyone is full size. Is uh. Cassian. Yeah. It's going to end bad for you. Yes, it is. <laughs> Cassian wouldn't hit you back. Yeah, fireball. Uh, uh, it is an advantage because he was reckless. <laughs> uh, so that, that is a hit. 22 to hit. Yeah. Hit. I'm not, I'm not going to uh, twin spell at this time. Because <laughs> I... No, it's just no, because I've only got one You're target. target. One target, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's only one point of damage. One point of fire damage. Around forty. On two dice. Oh no. Oh, what, why do you write, write, write the number? Sorry, another five. So six oh, total. Five. Thirty. Oh. Six. Too lazy maths. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I was like, oh, I've only used one d twenty because there's only two, only one creature. Um, so as you watch, pal, the the dragon that explodes into one side. Pal just looks around. The blackness in the eyes just burns and just. Fire erupts in his hand and fires out to Cassian, hey. hitting him in the back. I also do not move. Gotcha. Uh, Saria. Oh. What? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> As three foot Saria is next to <laughs> Raging Palimpsest. Has Saria not seen this happen before? No, Saria wasn't there for that. Yeah, was uh, that was the plant fight. fight. Um, that was the plant fight, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think the only time I, I, to I command you to stop! Make a charisma saving throw. Is it charisma or is it wisdom? Wisdom. 
14 fails. Mm. Okay, we'll see how that comes around. We've got Smokey and Cassian to go and the rest of the party. Smokey, I would suspect. Uh, am I next to Pal? Nice. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm not going to take an opportunity to by moving away then. Okay, Smokey's turn. What does Smokey do? Oh, can't get a breath ripping back. Nope, yes. doesn't get it. Uh, you would suspect in this instance, Smokey's probable reaction is going to be to jump on his chest and try and knock him to the ground. That was probably going to be the same thing Catherine was going to do, so that would make sense. Yeah, so Smokey, uh, make uh, just a general strength check, so as we can test the strength so? checks with uh, the two of you. What number is that? Nine. What a completely numbers. straight roll. Uh -huh. I have nothing in there. It makes more sense now. Yeah, we it's an right 18. Like it. 18? <laughs> Smokey? What, strength? Yeah. Well, so as you throw the fireball out, Smokey turns around, leaps up, and just bounces off the chest. It's probably a bit of a pillow. <laughs> Cassian's turn. Or try to attempt the same thing, charging forwards, <laughs> just like, <laughs> like body check. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah the body. this one, not that one. Oh, by the way, attacking the mark of like bad thing happened. Yes, so much yes. rage. Uh, uh, so make a. Spear. This will be a grapple check. So <laughs> you get down in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so, athletics with advantage because he's raging against acrobatics or athletics on your own. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Good to you guys. Yeah. Athletics or acrobatics? Oh. Athletics should be better. Yeah, it is, yeah. 24. 24? 15. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just get tackled by Cassie and slammed. I've been broken in half. Pick him up and slammed into the snow. Cool. Hot. So Cassian is just going to hold you, and I was like, Hey! No! 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 no stop! Stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> come on! Come on! Just shoveling snow into your face. On the one on the end, right? Yes. Can't see it. Sit down and eat an apple. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see past you, sorry. <laughs> there's there's, a, there's said, snow, oh. and then there's a knee, and I've just heard someone hit the deck, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Make fast shoot something through. Yes! <laughs> No! Uh, the apple actually tastes like a caramelized apple. Oh, fantastic. Really nice. Really sweet. Brilliant. Great. Product. Exactly what I need. While I'm that I'm almost pissing. implies that someone brought a caramelized apple and there was enough of them around that nature decided that it was advantageous to not only replicate the look but also the taste of a caramelized apple. Actually, that's a three out of Completely apples. random. Not sure. Yeah. Of evolution. Yeah. Sure, yeah. maybe. Heat. Yeah. It Cut. went around a bunch of heat and it just turned it, just to caramelize yeah. the sugars a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> just changed the sugar mark on the way. Now that was Pod's apple, uh, you do actually regain. Oh! Boo boo boo. Ooh, they get the right dice. And there's apple. Seven hit points. It's doubled my thing. <laughs> the apple just makes you feel a lot better about yourself. It does. <laughs> uh, grit. Yeah. So, does that mean it gives you advantage on charisma checks? I'm just going to go. Move... Only, only when talking to yourself in the mirror. <laughs> I'm going to move and just help wrestle and hold down, basically. That's okay. my intention. That's literally all I'm. Sure. Doing. So I don't know if that. Uh, kind of being like. Um, just like put a knee on his shoulder. Yeah, it'll be like, like if Cassie has to do anything, then I'm kind of there to support. You're basically. doing a help act. Yes, essentially. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, sorry. In those words. Excuse me. Ow. Create bonfire. Bomb. Between oh. me and his, me and Cassian. <laughs> the command had no effect. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yes, the command would have no effect. You just it, the command is just stop. You just stop. That's oh, it. So I don't do anything. You don't do anything. My eyes are still angry. Yeah. Uh, although you did do harm to one of your allies. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, in which case, it's Arya. The command seems to have worked. He has stopped. I stopped for them. Yeah. yeah. Um... Presently, he has stopped. And even stopped resisting the grapple and such. Hmm. Roofing gag. <laughs> my, my rope's going to be well, tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm smaller than the panel now, aren't I? You are, yes. So, mm. my rope would be like trying to tie him with tie up with string. I mean, I'm not very strong, it will probably work. Uh... But, 
sweat thread. Yeah. Um, good question. What <laughs> am I going to do? Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't have that much that's useful at the minute. Um, is anyone looking particularly beaten up in near collapse? Not that you can see. <laughs> Thought was buried in the snow. 35, I'm assuming. How's Smokey looking? I think he's all fine. Fine. Yeah. Do you think he took damage? He did at some point. I think. Not 50. Oh, right, yeah, 50, yeah. 60, total 50 now. I think what I think the best thing for me to do is um, cure wounds myself. Don't you think cure wounds um, at first level? I assume. Yeah. So that is one d eight plus four. Okay. Uh, Smoky, I think in this instance we're probably not going to do anything. We're just going to scowl and Ooh. watch this nonsense. See how it plays out, Cassian. I will take the opportunity probably to try tie up. Sure, make a what's this sleight of hand modifier? Probably not that good. Oh, plus two. Okay. Um, yeah, I think so. And uh, but still keeping hold afterwards, just because you know. Exercise. I would say yeah. make for me just make another athletic shape. This one's out of his advantage. He's come out of his rage. He hasn't attacked. Sure, 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 sure. Um, this is just to just, hold just, him. Sorry, is that a straight roll? Sorry. Straight strength check. Yes. Um, I resist. Where am I still stopping? You're still into your effective stop. Um, this is just an athletics, yes? Yes. Uh, 20, it's, it's just holding him in place. Actually, no, it does have a bunch because you did the help. That was great. Yes. Oh, it's, not, it's an 18 still. Okay. So you just basically holding him down with the forearm, just holding him in place whilst yeah. he's just lying there. Resist. No. Quite uh, Cool, brings us back to Pom. Enjoying his apple. Cool. Great. I don't think I have anything <coughs> uh, due to help, really. Uh, so I'm just doing triple check. Help action again, if you want to? I think I will. I think it's the only thing I can do. Yes, it is. Help. Yes. Would you like to do the thing you intoned you yes. to do? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um, Cassia, make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. I will say he does not see this. He doesn't get the advantage that he would normally get in the danger sense. Because um, no I one is. Also be you don't need, need, it, depending on the spell, you don't need hands in order to cast it. Is it a verbal is it? component only because you were tied up? What is the component? Uh, of the verbal, verbal semantic. It is both. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> No, we could do your rule book. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's not a rule book, it's a set of guidelines. <laughs> so I mean, it's, a, it's a fair point, it's a fair point. I'll roll anyway just in case, but you can make a decision based on Slate. I think you can take it uh, About the only spell I can cast is Healing Word, which I don't want to cast. Um, I will five fuck you struggle you. against the bonds. Okay, make uh, athletics or acrobatics if you want to try and wiggle out, or if you want to try and break the rope entirely. Uh, let's go for acrobatics. 17. 17, you slide out of the ropes relatively easily. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, but that was your yeah. action to do so. Uh, you can actually, the purpose of that, of doing all that, um, I will say, what's Cassian's uh, athletic modifier? Uh, plus six. No, oh, wait, uh, plus six. Yeah, plus, plus six. six. You Jeez manage to more. wiggle out of Cassian's. Uh, restraint, so you are able to get yourself back up standing. Why is it plus six? So well, it's strong. Yeah, but no, it's it should be more. Strength plus strength. proficiency. Oh no, it is strength plus proficiency. That doesn't make more um, sense. Ignore me. So I've got fifteen feet movement. Yes, I will move away from the party. This one. Okay. Uh, Just gonna add one. Attacks of opportunity may occur in this instance. Well, yeah, like a punch at least. Try to. Uh, or a grapple attempt. Uh, yeah, attempt. basically, okay. right. Part of the sentinel kind of like. You are on the ground, basically. so you can attempt to make a grapple attack. I'll say this is uh, just a grapple, this is just an attack roll against a C in this instance. Sure. And you are prone on the ground. So it's a one, so. You lunge forward mm -hmm. and tackle great. 
<laughs> oh, on the bar. Cal just limps through the snow and just tackles Grit into the snow. Did then Grit do something at the same time? I don't know if I'm going to... This is slightly funnier. This is I don't have a disadvantage, but can I attempt to tackle? Uh, sure. Strength, strength at disadvantage, or...? Strength at disadvantage, I will say... Because you... This is opposing strength. Ooh, this yeah. will be opposing strength, so you Or is it athletics? It will be athletics, but you have an advantage on the acrobatics, because it's a small thing trying to grab onto you, so it... Oh, right. Oh, yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, advantage on acrobatics. Mm-hmm. So I've got eleven. Oh, fourteen. Okay, you are. <laughs> you are reduced. Your movement is reduced by half again, but you are dragging Isari along behind you, just grabbing onto your ankles. <laughs> you really don't want to Stop, be. Stop, pal! Whatever we, whatever we can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it's also <laughs> you've got now grippled, grappled onto the ankles. Grippled. <laughs> grippled. <laughs> grippled. You've been grappled by grapple. Griffle has a grapple. Um, Grip grapple. Grapple. Schnapples. Mm. Snow that has part of all this, you can now see this happening. Mm. <laughs> Dinner and the show. <laughs> it's not me this time. I've got him grappled. There's not an awful lot I can do. Um... Divine smite. <laughs> I would if I had a spell slot. No. Um... It's called Eldritch smite. <laughs> I. I'm going to. Can I sort of hold rest. hold an attack action for him move if he manages to break my grapple? Sure. What attack action are you holding? You holding just an attempt at another grapple? <laughs> Or just um, to punch him. Just stack grapples <laughs> No, if it, if you, if he keeps acting crazy, and tries to break out, mm-hmm. I'm going to try to fang bite his ankle. Okay. You struggled first, tangent to a vampire. Makes mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Smokey. One second. <laughs> Lucky boy. We just want to die right on Yeah, there's not enough light on it, that's why. <laughs> Need better lighting in here. Mm-hmm. Future, there we go. Oh, this one. Yeah, the lighting light. guy. Yeah. It's got a mighty leap. Uh-huh. And uh, you ever seen that really cool movie Alien? <laughs> 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 you can try and face hug him. <laughs> Just... <laughs> so make an attack. This will be uh, athletics versus acrobatics in this instance. Not like grapple. Okay, mm. A smoky leaps up. Yeah. Just eighteen for acrobatics. Did you say? Athletics. Athletics. Ooh, twenty-three. Seventeen. So Smokey <laughs> just grabs <laughs> around your head. Just face hugging. So I've got Yosario on a leg and Smokey Smoke around your face. face. <laughs> but my hands are free. Yes. And I can still speak even yes. if I'm it's a bit muffled. muffled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it smells of dragon, dragon crotch. crotch. <laughs> it's only his belly. He's not ripping mm. his tail around your head. Anyway, uh, brings us to Pod. Just enjoying your apple? Yeah. Okay. Grit. I'll You're... stand back up, I guess. <laughs> yep. I don't want to attempt to. Um, oh, Jesus. I'll, I'll join the dog pile. <laughs> <laughs> and attempt to grapple. Athletics versus acrobatics. <laughs> Against another smaller creature going for you, so. Um, it's it's not very good, to be fair. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, 20? 16. <laughs> 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 Got the other leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wait for you all to get there and then just kind of like oh, Eldritch Blast or something like this is this is going on too long. <laughs> yeah. Just a like self-destruct smell. <laughs> Fireball. Uh, it is now your turn. Yeah, it is. Create bonfire. Where? Here. Like under you? 
Yeah, All probably right. between my legs, which is not something I thought I'd say. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open bonfire. <laughs> yep. So, uh, the four of you that are there, which includes Smokey, make a dexterity saving throw. Plus I four. probably automatically fail it. Okay. I think, I mean, do you probably technically get plus four? Yeah, I probably do if you're willing to give it to me, but I, don't... I think as, as I am deliberately I guess you're not a where friendly... I'm standing. I guess you're not a friendly creature yeah. at the minute, are you? Also, I, I am deliberately cutting it where I'm standing. I probably don't Ooh, get it. Well, he accepted the ramifications yeah. of his actions. That's so good. It's not a lot of damage. I mean, you're resistant to it anyway. I'm, I'm I'm resistant just, to it. 22 and Smoke is probably resistant. 22 A is resistant, so he takes a quarter damage. Ah, uh, great. Ah, uh, 15. That is the DC. Half damage. <laughs> You've cast this on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I have six. It's five damage. So five damage to you. One damage to Smokey. Yeah, two two points of damage to Smokey, and uh, five. Uh, sorry, three points of fire damage to you and to me, and three points to you. And technically, Constitution saves to see if you maintain concentration on the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> Does his testicles want to carry on? Uh, that's a crit. <laughs> <laughs> I am really <laughs> concentrating on this bonfire. Uh, I mean, if, a, if a bonfire was burning my ball, I would concentrate pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you if losing concentration would make it go away? Mm. Luke's, Luke likes, likes warm nuts. Uh, Alright, that is your turn, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Um, you are I've... just grappled, so you... Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm not going to try and move, because... Isaria, uh, what's the other effects of create bonfire? Is it whilst they start their turn in the area? Um, tilt spell, uh, any creature in the bonfire space when you cast the spell must succeed. Um, a creature must also make the same code when it enters the bonfire space for the first time on a turn, or ends its turn there. Okay. Okay, um... Enters or ends? Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm sorry, Pop, but I've had enough. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to whack with the Warhammer. Okay. Non lethal. Okay. So, hang on, what was your, sorry, what was your hold action was a vampire bite, was it? For that was specifically the broke away, which, he, which he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't sort of trigger that. Stop you there. Answer. Um, so. I'm not at disadvantage because he's bigger, yes. I'm just doing less damage. Yes. Well. Oh, that's what I didn't do. You do you when you do this okay, well. two handed Warhammer non lethally. We're all having a good time. Um, unnatural yeah. 20? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look. You have not had your major armor on this entire fight, so that's fine. Zero for second strike. Um, Driving at six. Driving that's at six. Eight is bludgeoning. <laughs> Minus the default? Yeah, that's inclu that includes that. Okay. Con save. I'm guessing you're staying where you are. Uh, so that's a one plus six. Yeah, I lose concentration. On fire is gone, doesn't matter. Oh, nice. uh, but your grapple is broken because you yeah. swung your weapon. Yeah, I got that. Um, yeah, whack again. <laughs> whack a whack a. <laughs> Ooh. 22 to hit. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Lack of blood. <laughs> Smokey <laughs> babes in the blood of his enemies. Uh, five bludgeoning. Four. You done? Nope. <laughs> you, probably have, you probably have a sore shin. Just bang, bang. Uh, Smokey's turn. I don't know what's going on because I've got a face full of crap. I'm going to be shouting. 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 I'm going to not at this range. Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's point blank. I mean, technically, Smokey's like this. Right face now. hugging. Well, yeah. he jumped from this side, so he's on this side. Well, he's on Smokey. It, oh, he's on his face. face. He is on your face. Yes. I appreciate that, but it is a cone effect. So it is going to ricochet out because. Smoking. So what is it? Is it a 15 foot cone? Is it? Yeah. Do it. Uh, 
Yes. Fail automatic fail. So you get disadvantage on the deck save because it's point blank. Twenty. Okay. Uh, uh, disadvantage is still a fourteen, which oh, I think is ten points. Ten points by average use of five. five. I'm still up. <laughs> uh, I need for Great Isaria and Cassian to make deck saves. Plus four. More. Plus four. More problems for yourself. More damage to all of us. Yeah. DC thirteen. Yeah. Oh, oh, 13, I'll just make it. Okay. Come on, I'm a squishy sorcerer. That shouldn't be taking this. Let's save. 10. 10. 20, so it was 20, so it was 10. Yes, Captain as well. Okay, so 18, uh -oh. sorry, 19 for uh, Grimps. Captain's fine. Okay. So, 10 points of fire damage to all three of you. Jesus. Ow. I'm just going to Eldritch Blast him. All right, uh, it's Pod's turn. Yeah. Make your attack roll. Like, it, it was funny, and then it kind of looks like it might actually, like, kill everyone, so... I, but I, it's not him that's the problem. No. <laughs> it's you. Why, why well, not, not, well, a smoky who just yeah. did like. No, but you, because you breathe uh, fire in the face. No. So it does. It's either of them over a twelve. Yes. Yes. Two hits. How many hit points do you want? <laughs> I'm five. Oh, my modifier kills you because I'm agonising. There's a nine, and uh, <laughs> I am well, down. Um, yes, you're finally mm. down. I'm disappointed <laughs> with how long that took you. <laughs> well, we're, quite, we're just tackling you, to be fair, and we weren't trying to hit you, I guess. I mean, it only took one round to down you. Yeah. <laughs> Once everyone was like, nah, fuck it. We're done now. Smack. Um, He's not calming down. Great. Have you tried telling him to calm down? I will ensure stabilised, at least. Make a medicine check. Uh, I think would be a wise decision. Uh, Ooh, it's close. He's dead! It's eight. It's just an eight. Eight? Not stabilised. Hey pal, make a death save. I almost thought that was a I one. I thought that was a, a one. Four. 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 I saw it's it's straight on, I was like, oh mate, it's dead. Sorry? Um, I would attempt to stabilise. Get a vampire. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Pal did not withdrew consent from the. I did. He no, signed. I a, said specifically, do not vampirize me. He, he signed a DRV. What about a hippo? <laughs> no one. No one, one yeah. signed. No one ever signed the DRH. <laughs> do not hippo. There we go. Th Thirteen on the medicine. You are Jack. stable. I'm conscious. I think it's... that is debatable. Yeah. <laughs> You are physically, physically stable. Yes. Okay, um, he's not bleeding Sorry, out. Sorry, I used to be even more specific. Your character is physically stable. Yeah. <laughs> what, what the heck was that about? Uh, oh, yeah. That's happened um, once before. We didn't really get to the bottom of it, I think. Well, obviously not enough anyway. Uh, yeah, we need to come up with a contingency. Some... Some... Stuff happened. Pot has some really good answers. Just not want to hear it. <laughs> Wait, you heard some really good answers? Yeah. Oh no, okay. <laughs> no one can hear me. <laughs> no, we hear a squeaking sound. <laughs> They're back! <laughs> oh no, ready yourselves. Uh, yeah. You kind of just lose its control. Right. Um, but I don't think we really properly. Don't think we did it. Don't think we got to that one there. Just passed over. How right? did you. Cure it last time. What the same. Exactly the same. Okay, um so when he wakes up again he'll be okay. Should be. Yes. Okay. But I'm basing that off only one other instance. So you know, it could be. So we need to keep watch. And we still need to find somewhere to camp, but and I can't see as well now I'm down here. Yeah, we need to figure out how to solve that as well. Do we think it's temporary? Can I make a arcana check or something along those lines? Is it more of a nature or is it more of an arcana? This will be nature because this is to do with poison. Oh, how good that is. Nature. Oh, that's not That's five. Oh, it's not very good with the roll one. The roll of one though, is it? And six. You have not. The, so the information you can kind of gather from this is that these trees were once big. Were once big. They're now small. They haven't returned to no, large size with the creature's death. That is true. And they probably have shrunk them for a long period. Yeah. Okay, we maybe find.
and you'll make a camp here. Yeah. Um, or near here. Would I have some idea that it might have been a poison as it started by getting stung? Uh, probably, yes. You probably would have some sort of idea. Okay, um, let me try something for myself. Um, I'm going to use my last five points of lay on hand mm -hmm. and attempt to neutralise one poison affecting me. It does not have an effect. Um, <laughs> It is, a, okay. it is a poison, but it seems that the overall effect of the poison is not the thing that has yes. impressed it. you. Hmm, it's... If that was a poison, if it was a poison, it should have fixed it, so it must be something magic. Uh, magic poison. I'm out of ideas for now. Just gonna rest here for a bit. I will... I set up my really tiny tent. Yeah, yeah. Basically, try, try. You find some firewood, dryish wood in the snow. Dry wood is a little bit difficult. Uh, you do have in the bag of holding though. You did, Cassian did yes. gather some bundles of sticks yes. and kindling for travel. Uh, and we can just maybe just set up camp. I think is probably the best shout yeah. until clear some snow so away. Someone to... comes back round maybe. Yes, yeah. clear some snow away because it's getting dark at this yeah, point. Just so just to digitate some snow away. Yeah. Mm. Make myself a nice dry pad and pitch up my tiny tent. Yeah. Well, a foot. A <laughs> square foot of space is all you need. Yeah. You're not worried about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, camp is set relatively straight, relatively easily for the ones who are still full-sized. And Do I get sh I got half shrunk? You got shrunk, yes. Yeah. You are small as in Saria. Uh, throughout the time the camp has been set up, uh, Pal, you regain consciousness. Oh, sh fine. <laughs> I would. Be, I would be uh, uh, at least somewhat sane again. Mm -hmm. No matter. Mm. It happened again, didn't it? Gulliver yes. waking up. <laughs> Everyone's fucking massive. <laughs> hmm. We need to. Uh... Yes, that's partly why I'm so keen to get back to set down. Yeah. What do we do though? Um, if it happens again, because it seems like it's gonna. I need to avoid certain actions. Like? Um, well, harming people. People? Or just creatures? Or anything. <laughs> There's a lot of dangerous things out here. That might be quite difficult. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I... Yeah, it's gonna be a, gonna be a good journey. Great. Thank you for that. You are gonna die. Mm -hmm. Um Are we all set to start a long rest? Yes, you are you have set camp, a fire has been lit. You've cleared some snow, You've built snow up actually to give yourself a bit of a, a wall to protect against the wind. Um, and sort of a bit of shelter. It's higher for obvious. some people than okay. others. Fair enough. <coughs> uh, I'm getting really fed up with the body changing shenanigans. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll change the campaign. Jesus. That was, that was in character. <laughs> Out of character. Yeah. It's uh, and, the, and the voice just get boomed through above. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Um, does someone tell Pal about the um, the the issue with the shrinking and the poison? Look, it's cold. A bit of shrinking is natural. <laughs> and the poison curing not working. Does anyone? I mean, you can see we haven't regrown. Hmm. Are there any remains of the creatures? Oh, yeah. Left? Yeah, yeah. There's both of them are dead. One was exploded by an ice knife, one was hit with a hammer. So the truth not, them, not extremely piece. intact remains, but well, the, well, the, the, of them. The, the one that was hit with was, hit, was death by Cassian was hit with. An axe, so it's probably cut in half, but there's still like two halves of the dragon. Okay, I mean, I'll have thing. a look at it. Sure, I will examine it to see I'm, if I can. I'm going to keep an eye on Pal. It looks like this. It's fine. Pal, it's alive. <laughs> Does it 
actually have a nasty tongue or is that its breath working? Uh, it has a tongue. Quite sort of almost anteater-like in its mm. uh, face and physicality, but the rest of it is draconic. Kind of like Smokey, but with wings. Um, yeah, we should have preferred that one. anything that looks like a poison or venom producing gland. It's its tail. It was seemingly from the sting of its tail. But has this sort of um, almost clear liquid. There's a tinge of green to it. Try and analyze the liquid if possible. Okay, make a. This will just be straight. Uh, intelligence, I would say, for this one. Or nature, I guess, technically. Cool. Science check! Great! 24. Okay. This does appear to be the diminution liquid, and it seems to be similar to the burst of poison that was expelled from the mouth. So it seems that there's potentially either two organs that produce this fluid. Or it's one continuous system that can circulate into different points, either from the mouth or from the stinger. Um, but it seems to be this was the material that caused shrinkage. Does it give any ideas about how to reverse etc. No. Not from you would need a much more extensive laboratory to be able to conduct that sort of experimentation. Yeah, aside aside from anything else, the main thing you can do here is drop it on some nearby bits and pieces and see what happens to it. Can I uh, put it into a into a bottle, into a file? You may, yeah. I believe I have some as part of my herbalism. You can have a diminution drink poison vial. That could be interesting. Single application. Else. Apart from being in your handkerchief. I am just in my tiny tent. Just yeah. hang out. I think most of the camping supplies were in the uh, bag of holding, so you're actually in a massive tent. Even better. Yeah. I've got more square footage. Strictly speaking, yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. There's the, pers yes, the perspective yes. of it. <laughs> Relatively. He's having a nap and then, you know. I got, I got first class, but I only paid for economy. <laughs> <laughs> Every bed is an emperor's bed now. Okay. Anyone, you set an alarm, so that's all. Yes. Let's go. Anyone else doing anything? Do we need full to set watches? Yes, probably. It's still snowing. <laughs> Is it actually snowing or is Not it? Not at present. Yeah, and it is a relatively clear sky, so it doesn't look like snow is due to fall. That's I, think, I think maybe Pod shouldn't have a shift because no. you can't see much, can you? Can't see above the full snowfall. Cassian first while there's still some light. Yeah. I can, I can see above the snow a bit. I'll, can I'll actually take... see better in a snowy landscape at night. Mm. A lot more reflected light, yeah. I'll take second watch in case any more cool. snow comes down. Catherine sort of sits there it's with Smokey in his lap, just keeping himself warm for the night's watch. Um, the rest of you take a night's rest. Um, excuse me. Just me, I keep you on and setting everyone off. Yeah. <laughs> as, um, as the watch sort of goes by, there's sort of a hoots of owls scouting and hunting somewhere. And as Cassian's watch comes to the end, he sort of nudges you away a few times. Just, just, uh, be careful, there's a big ass owl circling. Oh. I just wanted to be a for good wings. It's a big ass okay. owl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a wisdom. I, I, I will start my watch and I will look for this big ass owl. Make a perception check. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ho. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> well, that was on the ground, right? <laughs> Think of the little the owl infestation of Futurama. Um, what was the total? Natural one for a total of two. You see. I can't see shit. You. Can't see shit. You spend too long staring at the, the reflected light off the snow, 
you actually go a little bit snow blind from the moonlight bouncing off it and just kind of open your eyes. It is a little, all this reflected light is just, it causes havoc with your night vision. And you cannot see or perceive any other creatures around. You feel fairly safe. <laughs> if I can't see them, they can't see me. Right. Uh, I will keep, I will keep my ears open as my eyes seem to be fine. Okay. Uh, after that, who is taking third watch? Might be me. Okay. 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 If uh, it's already uh, trust me enough, trust Al enough to wake him up. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> She's that tired. <laughs> you know the end. We'll have, we'll have. No. No. Make yourself a check on yourselves. Yeah. Settle in for your stint. Am I warned about the owl? Big ass or otherwise? I didn't <laughs> see an owl. Are you, do you warn her about Cat or warn him about Cassian's? No, I'll, I'll, I'll warn you not to spend too much time standing at the snow because it makes you snow by. Oh, that's mine. Thank you. Fifteen. Fifteen. You see a bear. No. Um, <laughs> You do owl have bear, bear. Ass, a bear-ass <laughs> owl. Some, some kind of owl bear? You do catch a glimpse of a large owl-like creature <laughs> flying over, exactly. Uh, flying, just sort of coxing over, just sort of like, almost like a dolphin swims, but just doing that over the trees and just sort of popping in and out every so often, just... Woo. <laughs> And then you hear a <laughs> just as the wings flap rapidly within the trees and then the owl <laughs> takes off. It is not as big as the two-headed rock that you came across, or the two-headed eagle that you came across previously, but fairly sizable for an owl. Like it is substantial. It's big ass owl. Um but seemingly snowy feathers and uh, sort of help it blend in kind of like it. Seems to be flying off carrying a deer. That helps give you some more context. <laughs> what size is the deer? A deer size. <laughs> Owl size. Yeah. But uh, for deer reference, it's probably like <laughs> Bambi's mother rather than roe deer or yeah. mud jack. Like a proper, what you would think of when you think of a deer. Rudolph size, there you go. Wow. That's a reindeer. Well, it's a reindeer sized <laughs> deer, okay? Reindeer <laughs> sized reindeer or a reindeer sized deer? Uh, it's a horse sized <laughs> human sized. Horse sized human face reindeer, which looks like a deer. And, like a an owl. No, but but it's an owl. A, and it's a big ass owl. <laughs> With wings. <laughs> Snowy wings. Shoulder mount to gaze a cat. I will try not to get too. Focused on the owl, the time just blind to anything else that might be. The, yeah, the owl flies off carrying its prey, but there's nothing happy about it. Oh, um, it's Pod! Pod's <laughs> <laughs> not, not big enough. Pod's too small to pick this It's thing. Pod and the tent. <laughs> just a reg regular owl comes along and just picks Pod and wanders off. That's why it was a big owl. <laughs> uh, but the rest of your watch goes uneventfully. Um, the giant owl has spooked you slightly. Just because, mm. you know, giant owls would do that to you. Yeah. Um, is there a final watch being held? I need to look at the grid. Yeah, so, maybe, yeah. How much? Yeah, probably. I've probably, probably got an hour and a half yeah, or so for daylight. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Long nights. Long nights, yeah. yeah. Make so, a perception check for me, please, um, Grit, as you Stoke the fires to keep it going. Mm. Start some breakfast. Warm your cockles by the fire. Straight roll. Right. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. It was critter, wasn't it? It yeah, was. It rolled up to it. Just sort of sat there by the fire, just sort of keeping an eye out, keeping your head moving. Not really built for this sort of environment. You're not really a forest guy. You're more of a workshop or cave. Some um, sort of warmth inside. Yes. Dude. Um, so you sort of look around and you do see a. Few animals, but sort of an owl. Not an owl. <laughs> uh, quadrupeds, more than anything else, sort of moving around. Quadruped owl. Probably. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. But sort of uh, more. It's a griffin, actually, I think, isn't it? Really? More, in, like, more, um, more on the lines of like moose or that sort of thing, I just see. sort of moving about. Um, but instead of the animals being pointed up, it's like down. Good point. Yeah. So almost like a 
shovel for shoveling out stones so it comes in. Egg grit. Push. Hmm? Egg grit in the fire. Egg grit. <laughs> yeah. Digs out some of the snow, reaches down, and it just eats on some of the tree, mm -hmm. the one of the shrunken tree, and just sort of uh, eats the branch off it, and then sort of trots off. So I've had the hat. The uh, Ross dressage <laughs> is how it moves. Yeah. Posh moves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. The watch comes to an end as the starlight starts to twinkle out and a few shooting stars catch your glance. Oh you there. Okay. Cast switch. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the power is real. The um, splits the two. But you come back to consciousness the following morning, all returning to full health. And for two of you, returning back to full size. Ooh. Uh, so Grit and Sai, you are nice. back to full size. Pod, you are not. You are still tiny, Pod. Cool. It's still tiny. Still tiny. Doesn't even grow up to. Mm -mm. Mm. Back up my fans. I'm going to cast Mage Armor first thing this morning. Okay. Mage Armor is upon cast. Not that it would have that made was... any difference during the fight at any point. But I like my torch. Just a match. <laughs> Would you like some help traversing? Not because I'm small. No, exactly. Because no. you are small. Because I am small. Smokey just stands over you. You could ride Smokey. Oh my God. I ride Smokey. <laughs> he lies down and lets you onto his back. You are you're basically about the same size as one of yeah. his spines, but you are sit side saddle in between one of the spines. Yeah, just hold on. You have to be careful not to jab your own eye out with one of the spines, but you know, you're now sat on Smokey's back, who is now sat on Cassian's shoulder. <laughs> because I use, well, I've got like 50 feet of rope or whatever, I just kind of like... Loop yourself on. Yeah, around his legs. <laughs> now we've got a hippo riding a dragon, riding a human. Yes! <laughs> That's tiny and dandy. Yeah, uh, right? Yeah. Hey, we had a race of sentient penguins last campaign, so... Yeah. Two campaigns ago. Um, Alright, so uh, is there anything you wish to do before you set up for the day? For the second day of travel. Eat some tack. You have some general supplies. Uh, 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 anyone got any ideas why we're big again and poor isn't? I would Seems guess, to be inexplicable. At a rough guess, I would say a stronger concentration of the poison might take more time to work itself out of the system, but I could be wrong. Some sort of allergic reaction. It could be something in eight pod system. I think it's uh, bad tech last night as well. Bad tech. Bad tech. Is there such a thing as good tech? <laughs> but bad tech does imply that there is good tech. Mm. There is worse tech. There is worse <laughs> tech to be had. There is good tech. In date tack and out yeah. of date tack. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you spend the morning getting yourselves ready to go and head off into the ever glowing wilderness. I think we can leave it there for this week. We can do our adventure. Into it. Yeah, a couple of hours into it. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so that is a uh, first taste of some of creatures that live in the wilderness. Mm. Some interesting stuff living around here. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you guys for playing. Uh, we will be back again in whenever we get a chance to play D and D. It won't be next week. We know that. Mm, the week after is getting close to the deadline, and there's probably stuff that will pop up. I think we'll be okay up to maybe the week before. Well, maybe a couple of weeks before. It might be the first week of March. We might do, and then that probably be it till after the wedding. And then we'll, or maybe we'll just do D&D &D whilst we're down there, since we're all... We have time. We're all there. Yeah. <laughs> the time, the morning of the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> just, whilst I'm, just whilst I'm trying to keep my nerves down, Laura's getting ready, the rest of us just sit there just playing D&D &D Make suits. a constitution saving. <laughs> <laughs> but also, sausage. It's a <laughs> So yeah, thank you everyone for joining us. Mm. We'll see you again next time. Take care of yourselves, and goodbye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>